Saturn is the sixth planet from the Sun. It is the second largest planet in the solar system and it is one of the gas giants. The diameter is about nine and a half times Earth diameter. The planet has very low average density, about 30% lower density than water. But due to its large size, it has about 95 times the mass of Earth. Just as Jupiter, Saturn is mainly composed of hydrogen and helium. It probably has a solid rocky core with an undefined surface. The interior is likely iron and nickel, surrounded by liquid and gas composed of hydrogen and helium. The planet has a yellow nuance due to ammonia crystals in the upper atmosphere. The atmosphere has very high wind speeds, up to 1,100 miles per hour or 500 meters per second. The planet has cloud bands similar to Jupiter but fainter. The surface temperature is minus 185 degrees Celsius. Some physical characteristics of Saturn. The diameter is nine and a half times Earth diameter. The mass is 95 times Earth mass. The rotation period is 10 hours and 32 minutes, which is very fast, but slightly slower than Jupiter's rotational period. The orbital period is 29.5 years, so one Jupiter year is about 30 Earth years. The distance from Earth is about 75 light minutes, depending on the orbital position. In other words, it takes 75 minutes for light from Saturn to reach Earth. The distance to the Sun is about 9 times the distance between Earth and the Sun. The ring system around Saturn is mostly composed of ice particles with a small amount of rocky debris and dust. Saturn has at least 82 moons. Titan is the largest moon, with one and a half times the diameter of Earth's moon. That makes it slightly larger than the planet Mercury. Titan is the only moon in the solar system that has a substantial atmosphere. Titan has 90% of the mass that is in orbit around Saturn. Titan and the moon Enceladus or possible places where life could be sustained. Enceladus is relatively small with a diameter about 15% of the diameter of Earth's moon. Enceladus appears to have liquid salt water, which indicates the possible existence of life. There has been several mission probes to Saturn. Pioneer 11 flyby in 1979, followed by the Voyager flybys. Voyager 1 sent back high-resolution images in 1980. It showed Saturn with its rings and satellites. A close flyby of Titan showed that its atmosphere is not transparent in the visible spectrum. After that flyby, Voyager 1 changed trajectory out from the plane of the solar system and into deep space. In 1981, Voyager 2 gathered more close-up images of Saturn and its moons before continuing towards the planet Uranus. The Cassini-Huygens space probe entered orbit around Saturn in 2004. It took high-resolution images and also radar images of large lakes and mountains on Titan. Cassini released the Huygens probe which landed on the surface of Titan in early 2005. 
it sent back information during landing and about 90 minutes after touchdown. It included images of the area near the landing site. The surface temperature was about minus 180 degrees Celsius and images show the ground to be covered with pebbles of water ice on an orange colored fine grain sand of icy particles, most of it covered in a thin haze of methane. The light at the surface of Titan is about 1000 times dimmer than the daylight on Earth and the sun is visible as a bright spot about one-tenth the size of the solar disk seen on Earth. The brightness of the sun is comparable to a car headlight seen from 150 meters or 500 feet distance. It casts sharp shadows, but with low contrast due to the orange haze. Cassini found evidence of liquid water reservoirs tens of meters underground on the moon Enceladus with hundreds of geysers spraying water from the surface near the south pole. The icy particles emitted from these geysers are continuously entering the orbit around Saturn. This indicates that Enceladus is potentially an environment where life can exist. Cassini also found hydrocarbon lakes near the North Pole of Titan. Cassini ended its mission by passing between the inner rings of Saturn and falling into its atmosphere in 2017. There are plans for future missions to investigate the possible existence of life on Titan and Enceladus. We can expect more information in the near future about that. <laughs>